Daniel Grobleski. I work for HCA Florida Jacksonville Neurology. I am a practicing general neurologist. My patients are include anybody with a disease of the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, and the muscles. So it could be inclusive of somebody having leg pain or somebody having complex dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Electroencephalogram is a test we use where we place electrodes on a patient's head and it tells us about the electrical activity that's taking place in that person's brain at a given time. Most of it's directed around diagnosing epilepsy or managing epilepsy, but some of it's also used to tell us something about their behavior, why they're unconscious, why they're delirious, and it could tell us a lot of information. It's especially important in the hospital. Many patients we have ongoing with electrocephalograms for over 72 hours straight to keep monitoring their brain activity to tell us what they're doing and how we can manage them, how we can make them better or wake up. When they come to a neurologist, they are frequently very fearful because it's such an unknown entity and they need a lot of reassurance. They need a lot of communication because they probably, in many cases, have already seen so many doctors that say, we don't know what it is, we don't know what it is, we'll send you to a neurologist. So by the time they get to me, is a lot of education. Especially, the internet makes them even more frightened nowadays because they get on the internet and they come in with a whole litany of things that they have which you really don't have, so you gotta go through each one of those things and talk them down.